World Geography with Muhammad Adnan. Today's tutorial is related to uh, how can we make uh, a future production map of land use land cover. So for this you need uh, the time period from you started and uh, the time period is the end one. The first one and the end one like the 2000 and 2022. So I'm editing. First you need to reclassify it. Uh, for easily identification because uh, here we when we export it to QGIS so this name will not be shown so that's why we first reclassify it so uh, I'm already reclassified till 2020 but I'm classified 2000 of this data so here I'm use the reclassify tool uh, there is a two type of reclassifier. One is a 3D and one is a spatial. So we use a spatial analysis one because we not working on a 3D analysis. So when you work on the 3D, so you need it. I'm put here 2001. Go down 2020. I'm already reclassified. I will show it to you. Just it will take a time. Yes. So here the values are look like this, but I need to uh, add it 1, 2, 3, okay. 4, 5 and 6 and no data has a no data. Uh, here is a unique okay and I, and I give its path where I need wait a minute I need to eat a classifier on a values okay so I need again one two three four five and six okay so this will be showing on us on the values wise okay so now I'm going back to place where I keep it I keep it uh, the other one which I am showing you that one is 2020 and here I just keep it uh, 2000 okay. now it will take it time I skip the video so as you can see here is a reclassifier on the basis of 6 classes so I need to export not I need to export it because uh, I'm already giving this part to uh, file one so I just open my QGIS one and here I need to add it here you need to give its color RAM I'm showing you which color RAM you can select for this you need to the color name in the same sequence if you keep it in the different color name so your answer will be get wrong because it classify on the color wise the classifier <coughs> the classes as you can see here is the six classes but recently one which i am doing this showing me five classes so i am make it six classes by selecting this kind of I have already give it so the first one is like right okay. then I keep here double click for this color then I keep here for this color then I keep here this and this for this and this already in this color wait a minute I just keep it okay color I'm already selected for our six classes and, and you can see here the class is not showing but uh, when I see the random so I here make one more class in six and now I again select my colors as you can see there is a color showing red and like this color sequence so I also need this color sequence in the 2001 so simple selling oh yes wait a minute wait a minute here is a random 
one, two, three, four, five. Here the five classes. Now I need six classes. Okay, uh, six classes. And now I select this color. As you can see, it's same before one. Just simple okay. <coughs> so now we go in to apply our uh, molasses tool. Molasses tool is simple and easy. Here you can first keep your uh, before image data and here is the final one okay. and here you need to add a spatial variable there. Check the geometry. Now we are going to the correlation one. Uh, check the correlation between now the 2000 and 2000. I need to put here. Remove this one. Okay. okay I need to put the board one here. As you can see, here is the 2000, 2020, and here is the 2001, and here is the 2000. So we find the area for making a table. Here is the table updating. So as you can see, we get the table on the six class space because we have a six classes in it, and here is the changes in inch okay in a square meter so here is the changes in a percentage wise uh, so uh, now we're going to create the change map of it uh, or, uh, on the basis of classes we give it the name to the change change uh, here 2002 2020 okay here I gave under root and here will be the map it will be generated in a TIFF format so I need to escape it a little so as you can see what change map is given now I going to check its uh, power classification which uh, showing by here yes uh, now I just need to do a trans transition potential modeling, okay? And train the network. So here will be generated a graph of this data, which show in the classification, uh, validation of kappa, and after that we can generate a simple uh, future prediction map. So I am skipping. So our transition potential modeling is complete. Now we are going to make simple our future prediction map. That is a simulation result. Okay. We give its path uh, like this one. Future prediction predicted map. 2030 because we have the difference of a 10 years so we predict uh, after 10 years so if we have a 20 years so we will predict for 2040 so here we keep a 10 years so that is uh, we keep here 2030 save it and start it and it will be in a tip format according to our classes then I will showing it to you on our RGIs the difference and the changes what will be uh, we predicted so as you can see our stimulated process is 100 percent and here we get its map this one so i'm open it on a rgs to showing you what is the difference between the 2020 and the uh, stimulated one here we get this one which we generated I made it one here now
now I will classify it on uh, six classes uh, which will be on a unique values ok on the six classes the first one was the builder as we know and the second was uh, grassland and the third one vegetation and the fourth one is uh, agriculture agricultural land which we give this color and this is the aqua agriculture and last one is a water body okay so as you can see simple water body is here okay and now we compare to each 2020 and just let us skip it so as you can see the upper one is our maximum area will be the grassland the second one and in the 2020 the maximum area was vegetation so these changes will occur in it now it's as you can see the changes in a very percent included in the vegetation field and has other will be same and in the water pool so thanks for watching i hope this will be help you in the prediction of future map for more tutorials you can um, subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us thank you so much